Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to go through my Christmas bins. This is not all of them. I went through um, what I have downstairs, which you saw in a um, previous video, and I got the stuff that I know I'm going to use first. Like I won't put up the tree for a while, um, and I won't do a few other things for a while, but I want to get my um, bookshelf done for um, a challenge that's coming up, and I want to get my... Um, I don't know if you can see it, but my tea cart back there done. And then I have another little table in the living room that I kind of want to get done. So three little vignettes that I kind of want to go ahead and tackle. Um, and I will record those when I'm um, decorating them so you can see kind of how I do um, things and where I put things and stuff like that. But today I just wanted to go through these bins and kind of pull out what I thought I knew I wanted to use and see where things are going to go. And um, I got a few things last year on clearance. So I want to go through and look at those and see where I want to put them. So that's what we're going to do this morning. So come along with me as I go through my Christmas stuff. So this is one of those things for sure I got on sale last year. I love this, but I'm having second thoughts about um, the colors. I really try to do like a more lime and more hot pink and this kind of orange really doesn't go with anything so <laughs> we'll see if I can find a spot for that I got this last year which I adore I don't know where I'll put this as of right now but it will definitely go out these are just things that were in other bins that I didn't want to bring up um, this I put over one of those desks that I was telling you about in the living room and then I hang the stockings on it and then of course I decorate the top um, let's see what we have going on here. Okay, this is basically all of my bottle brush trees. Not all of them. I have lots more, but that's kind of what's going on here now. Um, these I got at Hobby Lobby. I mean, they are just so precious. And these, I don't know if I was told you on here or not, but, um, I told you how I like to put the little lights um, around the tree the little fairy lights well these are dead so they can come off and I've just got some more off Amazon I tried to fix these last year and it just did not work so um, I got some new ones and they're little pink lights so I'll put those on there um, let's see what's this a little sign some of this I got last year on clearance I love this little tree so cute these I got at Target a couple years ago. They're so pretty. I had the thought of just doing like a bottle brush um, kind of centerpiece on my table because they just look so pretty all there together. But we'll see how that works out. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'll change my mind a hundred times before then. Let's see. I think this actually has little lights um, on it already, but we'll need to um, change the battery on that and make sure they work. Anyway, I'm just going to continue on here unpacking and pulling out things um, for um, my mantle and that table and my tea cart. So we'll see what we come up with. These nativities actually came from... Um, my grandmother, we gave this one to her as a family. She even has it on there, Dickie's family, that's my daddy, in 1990. And this one I gave to her when I lived in Montana. I told you before she collects nativity scenes, and this one had little bears, like the Montana bears. Um, and so when she moved, she couldn't keep them all when she moved to assisted living. So I picked up those two to take with me, and then she actually gave me this one quite a few years ago. Let's see if it's dated. Um... It's not, but it was a it was a long time ago, and she wrote a really special note, and so I keep that and put it out every year. I just love that. So we'll find a spot for those. I know they're not pink and green, but they're treasured memories. So.
Okay, so this is it. This is the bulk of my Christmas decor. This is not my tree. This is not my ornaments. This is just my stuff that I put out in vignettes throughout the living room and dining room and my entryway. I also have um, a willow tree nativity that I put out over here in this um, bay window. I keep the thing with the little teacups on it and then I use some bottle brush trees. Well, I have in the past. I don't know what I'm going to do this year, but I definitely put my willow tree in that window. Um, my tree will go over here in that and those three, four, however many windows, five windows over there that, so that you can see it um, from outside. So that's where my tree will go. But all of this stuff will go like on that table, on my tea car, in my entryway. Um, some stuff will go on my hutch. So that's kind of where the bulk of this goes. I don't decorate a ton in the kitchen. Um, and when I do, it's mostly like cowboy, um, western, reds and greens and maybe some blues and golds so it's a little bit weird because the rest of the house is pink and green so I'm thinking this year I might just not do much in the kitchen we'll see where this progresses but for now I'm just kind of getting this done um, as you can see I still have all my fall up so I debated and I debated because um, normally I wait until um, after Thanksgiving to do it and I still probably will wait for my tree until after Thanksgiving but there's challenges and different things here on YouTube that I want to participate in so this stuff's got to go my family might be coming for Thanksgiving but they're just gonna have to celebrate Christmas while they're here <laughs> it'll be fine um, I won't have the tree up because that takes up a lot of room in the living room anyway but um, as far as the things that I usually decorate, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and take fall down. I've had it up since August, so it's time. And that way I can enjoy my um, Christmas a little bit longer. So I am going to work on that. I'm gonna work on getting my fall boxed away in their bins and then start deciding where I'm gonna put all this lovely pink and green Christmas stuff. So subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a thing and we'll see you in the next one. Bye y'all.